Hello guys! Ako pala si Sir Jun at welcome sa aking YouTube channel. Kung bago lang kayo sa aking channel, huwag kalimutan mag-subscribe at pakipagot na rin ang bell button para manutipay kayo kapag nag-upload ako ng bagong video. Ang lesson natin sa video na ito ay Factoring the Greatest Common Monomial Factor. Factoring Ano nga ba ang factoring? Factoring is the process of finding the factors of an expression. E ano naman ang tinatawag na common monomial factor? Common monomial factor is a number, a variable, or a combination of number and variable which can be found in its term of a given polynomial. Paano nga ba ang factoring the greatest common monomial factor? Let's have a review. Greatest common factor in integers. The greatest common factor of two numbers is the greatest integer that is a factor of both numbers. Halimbawa, find the GCF of 12 and 18. We can find the GCF for any two numbers by examining their prime factorization. Okay? So, alimbawa, yung 12, pag pinactor out natin to guys, meron tayong 2 times 2 times 3. So, pansinin nyo, so 2 times 2 is equals to 4 times 3 is equals to 12. Then, sa 18 naman, meron tayong 2 times 3 times 3. So, 2 times 3 is 6 times 3 is equals to 18. So, tandaan nyo guys, prime factorization. So, ibig sabihin, 2 is a prime number and 3 is also a prime number. Then, 12 and 18 ay mayroong common factor na 2 at saka 3. Therefore, GCF is equals to 2 times 3 is equals to 6. So, yung GCF ng 12 at saka 18 ay 6. Okay? Ano naman ang greatest common factors in monomials? Halimbawa, find the GCF of 10y cubed and 4y. So, kukunin natin yung GCF ng dalawang ito. Write the complete factorization of each monomial and find the common factors. So, para sa 10y3 or 10y3, okay? so una, i-factor natin muna yung 10. So, mayroon siyang 2 times 5. So, 2 times 5 is 10. And then, itong y3, ay ipa-factor out din natin. So, ibig sabihin, pag y to the cube, guys, ay tatlong y. So, meron tayo. Times y. Times y. Times y. So, sa dalawa, tatlo. So, tatlong y. Para naman sa 4y. So, factor muna natin yung 4. So, meron tayong 2. Times 2. So, 2 times 2 is 4. Then, meron lang tayong isang y. So, y. Then, 10y cubed at saka 4y ay merong common factor na 2 at saka y. Therefore, yung GCF nila is equals to 2 times y equals to 2y. Para naman, 
sa example number 2, meron tayong find the GCF of y squared and 6y. So, ganun pa rin guys, right? The complete factorization of each monomial and find the common factors. So, para sa y squared, pa-factor muna natin yung y equal to 3 times 3 then yung y squared dalawa yung y natin times y times y so dalawa para naman sa 6y meron tayong factor natin yung 6 3 times 2 so 3 times 2 is equals to 6 since meron lang tayong isang y so times y. So, yung common factor ng 9y squared at saka 6y ay 3 at saka y. Therefore, yung GCF is 3 times y equals to 3y. Ngayon, dumako na naman tayo sa pinaka- main topic natin yung factoring greatest common factors in monomials or factoring greatest monomial factor para sa unang halimbawa factor 12 x cube y to the fifth minus 20 x to the fifth or x to the five y squared z so, ang ginagawa natin, kukunin natin yung kanilang mga GCF. Okay? So, pag pinaktor natin ito guys, ang unang ginagawa is, una, kinukuha yung GCF ng bawat term. Okay? So, una, pinapaktor muna natin yung 12. So, 2 times 2 times 3. So, 2 times 2 is 4 times 3 equals to 12. Then, factor natin yung x cube. So, ibig sabihin ng x cube, guys, meron tayong tatlong x. So, times x, times x, times x. So, tatlong x. Then, y to the 5, meron tayong meron tayong limang y. So, y times y times y times y and times y. So, limang y yan, guys. Then, dumako naman tayo sa 20x to the 5y squared z. So, factor out natin yung 20. 2 times 2 times 5. So, 2 times 2 is 4 times 5 is 20. Then, x to the 5, meron tayong limang x. Okay, times x, times x, times x, times x, at saka times x. So, limang x. Then, y squared, meron tayong dalawang y. So, y, times y, times y. Tapos, yung z, isa lang yun yan siya, guys. So, isa lang ilalagay natin dito. Then, kukunin natin yung common factor ng dalawang terms na ito. Ano ba yung mga common factor nila? Meron tayong 2. Meron pang isang 2. Tapos, yung x. And so, tatlong x. Tapos, meron tayong dalawang y. So, yung GCF nila is to 2 times 2. Si dalawang 2. Tapos, tatlong x times x times x times x. Saka, dalawang y. Y times y. So, equal to. So, 2 times 2, guys. Is 4. Then, Tatlong x, x cubed, tapos dalawang y, y squared. Okay? So guys, ito na yung unang factor natin para sa term or sa polynomials na ito. Ngayon, una pa lang yan. Meron pang pangalawang factor. So, paano natin kukunin yung isa pang factor? So, ang gagawin natin, 12x cubed, y to the 5, minus 20x to the 5y squared z ay i-divide natin ito. 
Okay? So, ito guys, pwede natin isulat ng ganito. Kasi nga, common yung kanilang denominator. So, 12x cube y5 divided by 4x cube y squared. Tapos, ito naman, minus, so minus 20x to the 5 y squared z divided by 4x cube y squared. Then, isa-isa na natin itong i-divide. So, pag nag-divide tayo guys, so integer to integer, variable to variable. So, pare-pareho yan. So, 12 divided by 4 is 3. Okay. Then, pag nag-divide tayo ng variables, dapat magkapareho. Pag x, i-divide mo sa x. Pag y, i-divide mo sa y. So, dito, x cube divided by x cube. So guys, pag nag-divide tayo ng variables na may exponent, just remember yung ating quotient rule. Okay? Sa quotient rule, so meron tayong x cube divided by x cube. So yung mga exponent niya guys ay minamainos natin. So ibig sabihin, 3 minus 3 is equals to 0. At tandaan nyo, a variable or any number raised to 0 is equals to 1. Diba? 1. Ibig sabihin, meron tayong 1 dito. Kaya lang dito guys, hindi ko na sinulat yung 1 kasi yung 1, pag multiply mo sa 3, ay 3 pa rin. Diba? So, at least na 3 dito. So, ibig sabihin guys, para sa pinakasimpleng na uh, uh, simple uh, competition or simple uh, solution, pag nakakita kayo ng ganito, pareho yung kanilang term, consider na yan siya as 1. Kakansin na natin dito siya. Magiging 1 na yan siya, guys. Okay, dumako naman tayo sa y to the 5 divided by y squared. So, ma-minus natin tong 5 or i-minus natin, or mag-minus, o kukunin natin yung difference ng dalawang exponent. So, magiging 5 minus 2. So, quotient rule pa rin, guys. 5 minus 2 is equals to 3. So, magiging y to the 3. Nakuha? Okay. So, dumako naman tayo sa pangalawa. So, minus. So, tandaan, integer do integer, x to the x, y to the y. So, ganun lang mag-divide. Sa, i-divide mo lang sa kapareho niya. Okay? So, 20 divided by 4 is equals to 5. Then, dito naman tayo, x to the 5 divided by x cube. Tatandaan nyo, so, 5 minus 3 is 2. Diba? So, x squared. Then, meron tayong y squared divided by y squared. So, katulad dito guys, di ba magkapara sila ng exponent? So, cancel out to siya guys. So, magiging 1 siya. So, merong imaginary 1 dito. Hindi na natin susulat. Okay? Then, yung natira, yung z, dahil uh, wala naman siya kapareho dito, is at is, isusulat pa rin natin as z. So, Ito na ngayon guys, yung dalawang factor niya. Yung factor nito is 4x cubed y squared at saka 3y cubed minus 5x squared z. Thus, the factored form of 12x cubed y to the 5 minus 20x to the 5y squared z is Ito na siya guys. 4x cubed y squared times 3y cubed minus 5x squared z. Para naman sa ating pangalawang halimbawa, meron tayong factor 8x squared plus 16x. So, ang una nating gagawin, 
para makuha ang unang factor ay kukunin natin yung GCF ng dalawang term na ito. So para sa 8x squared, so factor natin yung 8. Doon tayong 2 times 2 times 2. So 2 times 2 is 4 times 2 is 8. Then para naman sa x squared, so ibig sabihin nito guys, may dalawa, may dalawa tayong x. So times x times x. Para naman sa 16x, so factor natin yung 16. So 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. So 2 times 2 is 4 times 2 is 8 times 2 is 16. So pansin niyo guys, palaging prime yan. Prime number. Then meron lang tayong isang x. Okay, times x. Then yung common factor ng dalawang ito ay 2 times 2 times 2 so tatlong 2 at saka isang x ito yung mga common factor ng dalawang term na ito then the GCF is equals to 2 times 2 times 2 so tatlong 2 at saka isang x equal to 8x diba? 2 times 2 4 times 2 is 8 Tapos, x, so, it x. So, ito pa lang yung unang factor ng term na ito o polynomial na ito. So, kukunin pa natin yung kanyang isa pang factor by dividing 8x squared plus 16x to it x. Ito guys. Okay? Since... Pariyo naman ang kanilang denominator, pwede natin isulat ng ganito. So, 8x squared divided by 8x. So, plus yan. So, plus 16x divided by 8x. So, ganun pa rin guys. So, integer divided by integer. x divided mo sa x. So, sa kanyang kapariyo lang. So, 8 divided by 8 is 1. Okay, consider that is 1 already. Cancel out. Then, x squared divided by x. So, quotient rule guys. Uh, yung x guys, mayroon imaginary 1 dito. Tandaan nyo yan. Palaging may 1. Hindi na lang siya isinusulat uh, para sa convenience. Okay. So, 2 minus 1 is 1. So, ibig sabihin, x to the 1. Diba? So, x to the 1. So, wala na lang 1 dyan for convenience. Okay? Then, plus 16x divided by 8x. So, meron tayong 16 divided by 8. That is 2. Then, x divided by x. So, meron 1 dyan. Meron din ng 1 dyan. So, 1 minus 1 is 0. So, x to the 0. Tandaan nyo guys that x to the 0 is equals to 1. So, so 16 kanina to divided by 8 is 2. So, 2 times 1 is 2. So, ito ngayon guys, ang sagot niya is x plus 2. So guys, ito na ngayon yung dalawang factor ng polynomial na ito. Thus, the factor form of 8x squared plus 16x is 8x times x plus 2. So, paano ko muna laman guys na tama itong answer ko. So, ang gagawin nyo lang is i-multiply nyo pabalik. Ha? Tignan nyo ha. So, 8x times x is 8x squared. Tama? So, dalawang x yan ha. Then, 8x times 2 ay 16x. So, therefore, tama ito.
Para naman sa ating example number 3, factor 12x to the 5, y to the 4, minus 16x cubed, y to the 4, plus 28x to the 6. So, meron tayong tatlong term. Okay? Same process, guys. Para makuha natin yung unang factor ng polynomial na ito ay kailangan kunin natin yung GCF ng bawat term or GCF ng tatlong ito. Para sa unang term natin, so kukunin natin ang factor ng 12. So meron tayong 2 times 2 times 3. So 2 times 2 is 4 times 3 is 12. Then, para naman sa x to the 5, so, ibig sabihin nito guys, mayroong limang x. So, times x, times x, times x, times x, times x. So, meron tayong limang x. Then, y to the 4, mayroon tayong apat na 4. So, y times y times y times y. So, apat ang y. Then, para naman sa 16x cubed, y to the 4. So, factor natin yung 16. So, meron tayong 2 times 2 times 2 and times 2. So, 2 times 2 is 4 times 2 is 8. 8 times 2 is 16. Okay? Para naman sa x cubed. So, ibig sabihin nito guys, meron tayong tatlong x. So, times x, times x, and times x. Tatlo yung x. Para naman sa so y to the 4, meron tayong y or meron tayong apat na. Ibig sabihin nito guys, meron tayong apat na y. So, times y, times y, times y, and times y. So, apat na y. Dumako naman tayo sa 28x to the 6. So, factor natin ang 28. So, meron tayong 2 times 2 and times 7. So, 2 times 2 is 4 times 7 is 28. So, mga prime number lahat yan guys ha. Para naman sa x to the 6, so, ibig sabihin, meron tayong 6 na 6. Ibig sabihin, so times x, times x, times x, and times x, then another times x, and another x. So, 6 na x. Then, yung common factor ng tatlong term na ito ay, meron tayong 2, isa pang 2, x, x ulit, at saka x ulit. So, meron tayong dalawang 2, at saka tatlong x. So, yung GCF nila is 2 times 2 times x times x times x. So, dalawang 2, tatlong x. So, minultiply lahat ito, ang result ay 4x cubed. Now, ito pa lang yung unang factor ng polynomial na ito. Paano natin kukunin yung pangalawang factor? The same process na ginawa natin sa una at pangalawang halimbawa, itong polynomial na ito ay i-divide natin by 4 x cube So 12x to the 5 y to the 4 minus 16x cube y to the 4 plus 28x to the 6 divided by 4x cube Okay 
So, pwede rin natin isulat ng ganito dahil common yung kanilang denominator equals to 12x to the 5, y to the 4, divided by 4x cubed. So, minus 16x cubed, y to the 4, divided by 4x cubed. Then, plus 28x to the 6, divided by 4x cubed. So, divide natin to, ito, at saka ito sa isa. So, gaya ng dati, integer to integer, variable to variable, or x to x, y to y. So, hindi natin pwedeng i-divide pang wala siyang kasama o katapat. Okay? So, 12 divided by 4 is 3. Tama ba? 3. Ayan, 3. So, ito guys, x to the 5 divided by x to the 3 so, quotient rule pa rin. 5 minus 3 is 2. ba? So, ito na o. Oh. X to the 2 or X squared. Since yung Y to the 4 ay walang kasama sa baba, ibig sabihin nito guys is Y to the 4 divided by 1. So, guys, at isya, kukopyahin lang natin dito. Okay? Then, minus... So, minus to ha. 16x cubed y to the 4 divided by 4x cubed. So, una, divide yung integer. So, 16 divided by 4 is equals to 4. Okay? Then, x cubed divided by x cubed. So, ito guys, cancel out to ha. Kasi, 3 minus 3 by quotient rule ito 3 minus 3 is 0 so x to the 0 tandaan nyo guys x to the 0 is always equal to 1 or any number raised to 0 or any variable raised to 0 is equal to 1 so, so hindi ko na sinulat yung 1 dito then, ito namang y to the 4. So, y to the 4 divided by 1. So, at is pa rin siya guys. Kopyahin pa rin natin as y to the 4. So, meron tayong minus 4y to the 4. Then, plus. So, 28 divided by 4 ay 7. Okay? Then, x to the 6 divided by x Cube. So, quotient rule pa rin guys. 6 minus 3 is 3. So, magiging x to the 3 or x cube. So, meron tayong plus 7x cube. Okay? So, ito na ngayon yung factor, yung pangalawang factor ng polynomial na ito. So, ito na yung isa at saka ito rin yung isa pa. So, ito yung nauna kanina by doing the GCF tapos ito naman yung uh, pangalawa by dividing yung uh, polynomial itself sa kanyang GCF. Thus, the factored form of 12x to the 5, y to the 4 minus 16x cubed y to the 4 plus 28 x to the 6 is okay so 4x cubed times 3x squared y to the 4 minus 4y to the 4 plus 7x cubed 